Unicron is one of the most powerful characters ever created in the Transformers franchise. He is an anti-god, a primeval force of evil, and an embodiment of chaos, making him the polar opposite of his brother Primus. While Primus represents a benevolent god who embodies order and light, Unicron is a malevolent multiverse force personifying all known agents of chaos and mayhem. Unicron's sole existence is driven by the desire to destroy all life and creation, seeking peace by becoming the living center of a swirling, infinite torrent of nothingness at the end of all things. But before we dive into his powers, we do fight breakdowns every week along with the occasional power ranking video thrown in. If you think that it's something you'll find interesting, feel free to sit back, enjoy the video, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's dive right into it. As an anti-god, Unicron possesses divine power and the capability to devour entire universes and realities. He traverses the multiverse, consuming worlds, and spreading his essence, acting as a multiversal singularity that can endlessly expand, reducing everything to an infinite hell of nothingness. While Unicron cannot be destroyed, he can be temporarily halted and defeated. However, he can never be permanently eradicated as long as evil and malice exist in the multiverse. Unicron's resilience makes it virtually impossible to kill him, ensuring his eternal presence in the cosmic realms. Unicron was created by the Almighty God known as the One or the Source. The One is the deity responsible for bringing the entire Transformers multiverse into existence. Comprising infinite universes, each boundless in size and encompassing infinite possibilities and realities. The Transformers multiverse is vast, comparable to the Marvel multiverse in cosmological terms. The motivation behind Unicron's creation stemmed from the One's curiosity after witnessing the birth of the universe. He fashioned Unicron to explore the fledgling creation. Then, for reasons unknown, the One divided Unicron into two halves. While one half remained Unicron, the other half became Primus, intended to maintain a perfect balance between order and chaos in the multiverse. Unicron and Primus represent yin and yang, with one embodying order and light, and the other, chaos and evil. Whenever Unicron unleashes destruction upon the multiverse, Primus stands as the guardian to prevent the obliteration of creation. Unicron's feats as a god embodying chaos and destruction have earned him the reputation of being the most significant threat in the multiverse. He possesses monstrously unimaginable power, ranking among the strongest entities in the Transformers franchise, with only a few beings, including Primus, able to oppose him. Unicron's strength knows no bounds. He can crush entire planets with sheer might alone. He transcends conventional perceptions of time and space, with his true essence residing in the void outside the multiverse. Capable of resurrecting himself, he has the power to devour entire realities and universes. It has been suggested that Unicron possesses the ability to consume the entire multiverse single-handedly. Also, the malevolent actions carried out by other beings happen subconsciously as a manifestation of Unicron's desires. As long as evil exists in creation, Unicron's existence is maintained. Even worse, Unicron is not just a colossal planet floating in outer space. He has the ability to fight. Like many characters in the franchise, he can transform into a humanoid robot. In this form, Unicron can tap into a range of abilities, such as resurrecting the deceased, firing powerful energy beams from his eyes, and granting power to others. His power level is off the charts, making him arguably the most formidable foe the Autobots have ever encountered. Whenever he serves as the antagonist in a Transformers arc, it becomes crucial for a legion of Autobots to team up. Unicron is not someone that any single character, not even Optimus Prime, can take down alone. Unicron has showcased incredible combat abilities, surpassing even his brother Primus. Their battles have caused immense destruction, shaking entire universes, destroying worlds, imploding suns, and wiping out life around them. Primus is a powerful foe in his own right, with 13 primes derived from fragments of his essence, and are created to protect the multiverse. Unicron's superiority to Primus is a significant accomplishment, given the power Primus possesses. Always outdoing his brother, Unicron can pull off stunts like folding trans-dimensional space to an almost limitless extent. 
creating pocket dimensions, and calculating probabilities through an internally integrated network of sentient quantum computers. Needless to say, he is a serious threat to space-time fabrics and entire galaxies. His only known weakness lies in the matrix of leadership, which contains Primus's essence. The Unicron phenomenon is a testament to his destructive nature. He has devoured over 22% of the Transformers multiverse, aiming to consume it entirely. The Unicron Singularity, formed after Unicron's destruction, serves his ultimate goal of sucking up the entire multiverse into nothingness. It has caused significant damage to countless universes, and only Primus's full power has restrained it. But sometimes, even he isn't strong enough to fight off the power of a black hole. So, how powerful is Unicron? Well, it usually depends on the incarnation, but it is enough to say that Unicron is a living embodiment of entropy. He is a cosmic level being, given physical form, as he is usually bonded to a planet that he has fully or mostly mecha formed. He can reformat and reprogram Cybertronians, as he himself was half of Primus himself. He feeds on planets, and unlike Marvel's Galactus, who converts and absorbs the life energies of a populated world, Unicron physically devours planets and adds them to his own bulk. In the IDW comics, Earth was approximately the size of his head. Other continuities, such as the Bayverse and Aligned Universes, the planet Unicron was imprisoned in Earth itself. Not only does lava flow through the prior planet, but powerful, purple Energon does as well. Power-wise, he's up there more on a physical presence scale as opposed to an all-out power. The Unicron trilogy had him exist as a black hole after he was defeated, and his mass was able to be harnessed to increase the size of certain Transformers. A portion of his armor also went into making Megatron from the Cybertron series, all but invincible. That's right, in the 1986 animated classic Transformers the Movie, Unicron transformed Megatron, the formidable villain of the Transformers, into Galvatron. As Galvatron, Megatron became a mere pawn of Unicron, resulting in Unicron becoming a shared adversary of the Transformers. But that's hardly the last time we got a glimpse of him. Prior to Rise of the Beasts, Unicron made one live-action appearance. Drawing inspiration from his portrayal in the Transformers Prime cartoon The Last Night revealed that Unicron was concealed within the Earth the entire time. As opposed to this portrayal, Rise of the Beasts clearly establishes a different version of Unicron as a separate entity whose impending arrival poses a threat to Earth. Unicron's ability to traverse the multiverse opens up numerous possibilities for his arrival on Earth, but in any case, he is quite literally a force of nature that Autobots must contend with.